Welcome to tutorialsinhand.com. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about what is information and what are the important characteristics of information. So let's proceed to see what is information. So information is actually a well-organized and a structured data. If we see the world, we will see a lot of data floating around us and those data when collected and connected together in a well-structured and organized format. That that data become helpful in certain scenarios and to make decisions on certain aspects and that organized data is actually known as information in computer. This information is actually very very critical in helping in decision making on certain aspects. So for example if you see this Indian railway chart this is something which helps us understand the journey of a train means if you want to visit certain place or you want to travel from one place to another place so you can easily find out from this chart that when which train will leave from which source to which destination and based on that you can make your decision you can make your travel plan and you can make your future meeting plans so this is where the information becomes really really important so if you see this chart it is a kind of information so this train number is one data this time and day was a data this journey to and from was a data but when they are well connected together and structured in this format it becomes a helpful information that means we can understand that train number 17098 will leave each and every day at 8 5 am from Havra to Patna and this is where this becomes really really helpful this is one of the example of information there are a lot more examples other examples can be mark sheet of I students so if you see the mark sheet of a student you can analyze from there that the student is good in which subject and he needs improvement in which subject isn't it and there are other aspects also which can be found out by looking at the mark sheet similarly there is a pay slip of the employee so looking at the pay slip of an employee would give some important informations and would help the employer to make the decision on the payment and other things related to the payment of the employees based on this we can understand that any information should always be accurate and reliable and it should be timely and it should be centralized to certain problem means it should be helping in solving certain problems so let's proceed to see what are the important characteristics of the information even though we wanted to show only five important characteristics but uh, we will be showing some more at this place so let's go ahead with the first information characteristics the first thing is the data or the structured data that is information should be very very accurate accuracy of data plays a significant role in helping in decision making so more accurate the information is better will be the decision making so accuracy of information is actually the ratio of correct information to the total information that has been gathered over the period of time so if you see this mark sheet of a student this is for the fifth semester of having registration number this and the details are over here so if you see this data is accurate so the decision can be made that yes I need to improve my mathematics and then Python programming also needs a lot of improvement and the, similarly the candidate can be proud that okay I am well acquainted with this OOP principles and also I am good in Java programming so this is how the decisions can be made with the accurate data that has been provided and the another one is validity so the data that is coming should be valid and should be generated from a reliable source like this data should be coming from some university right like tutorials in hand academy so there must be some URL where you can verify the details of this mark sheet means if you enter this registration number you should be able to verify the marks it should not be like the data is coming from any source which is not reliable and not valid so it would be very difficult to believe whether this candidate really achieved this marks or not right so this should come from a valid source other thing is the information should be complete incomplete information will be of no use to anyone suppose this information if this information just contain this detail like fifth semester we take in computer science name and this 
this registration number or it does not contain this registration number and only this mark chart so how it can be verified whether this is complete information or not because the candidate's registration number or roll number is not mentioned over here which means the data cannot be relied upon so this should be a complete information it should contain the complete details like registration number student name and the degree for which this marks is provided and so on and at the same time the data should be concise concise means the data should be centralized to certain point like this data is centralized towards the marks of a student which now can be easily used to find out the percentage that he has obtained isn't it so this is should be concise and centralized to a certain point like this is for the educational evaluation purpose similarly the trains chart should be related to the details based on the train timings arrival schedule to and from journey and so on the way we saw in the previous chart and at the same time the data should be relevant relevant means information should not be messed up and it should not have the unwanted details like if this is a detail of a student mark sheet then it should not contain any other things which is not related to marks of a student like his family details or how many sisters brothers this candidate has it is not at all required at this place isn't it so those information is not at all relevant in this context and it should not be included his hobbies and other things should not be included those are not the relevant information when it comes to evaluation of this mark sheet so those informations should not be given over here and the data the information should be relevant to the topic now the another one is the data should be coming from a reliable source reliable source means if you are verifying this mark sheet this should be coming from certain university or it should be given from certain government school colleges from where you can verify this mark sheet based on the registration number of the student right the employee's pay slip should be verifiable by the employer himself isn't it and the train schedule should be verifiable from the government indian railways department so these are the things where the details should be reliable and should easily be able to have some authenticity at the same time the details should be accessible accessible is important that means the data which is in the indian railway time chart it should be accessible by each and every person easily it should not be that the information that has been provided should not be accessible so there should be a website there should be uh, some window where one can go and find out the information and so on like the student detail should be accessible from the university official windows and apart from that we can also say that information shared should be timely and fit for purpose suppose you are asked to prepare a report for january 22 right but now what you did is you have prepared a report for december so december's report would not be valid in january right so that information is not timely and is delayed which will not help in any decision making for the month of january this is why the information should be provided timely and it should be fit for the purpose for which it is provided so these are characteristics of the informations that are important now we have accuracy validity completeness concise relevant reliable accessible and it should be timely and fit for purpose so we have shared nine characteristics of the information in this video